Health Focus is brought to you by National Medical Stores, NMS. Passionate about your life. A healthy body is a combination of many things including good feeding habits, exercising and regular medical checkups, among others. Well-prepared food is a precursor to good metabolism for your health. But all of us have different ways we want our food prepared. Some like it boiled, some like it fried, while others want it fast. The ingredients and condiments used in food preparation are crucial. Many of us cook with vegetable oils or spread margarine on our bread. However, some types of these ingredients have been found to contain trans fatty acids. So basically trans fats are a type of fat where manufacturers add hydrogen to conventional fat or to conventional oils to make, it, um, to make them solid at room temperature. In May this year, the World Health Organization embarked on a campaign to completely have trans fats eliminated because estimates show that every year Trans fat intake leads to more than 500,000 deaths of people, mostly from cardiovascular diseases. Liver disease, heart disease, the so-called coronary heart disease, uh, the strokes, uh, the cancers including uh, cancer of uh, uh, the big intestine and so many other problems like uh, diabetes type 2, uh, obesity, all these come up because of uh, people eating excessive amounts uh, of uh, trans fats. The health, the, the omega-6 rich fats that we should avoid are the popular ones on the market especially. The first being corn oil. Then we have sunflower oil, sunseed oil, palm oil, soybean oil, and something called safflower oil. Now these oils, although they are liquid and although they are plant-based the fact that they are high in omega-6 means that they are very bad for us especially for our hearts but why are trans fats common in many types of processed foods to make to make them last longer in, in on their shelves eh, to increase the shelf uh, the shelf life and uh, because they will make uh, the food taste nice and because of this people tend to reuse the leftover oils for cooking Dr. Kasenene says this should not be the practice. An oil may be healthy, but there's something we call a smoke point. The smoke point of an oil is basically the temperature at which an oil begins to smoke when you're cooking. Now, when an oil begins to smoke, it has effectively become denatured and is now harmful. Several high-income countries have virtually eliminated industrially produced trans fats through legally imposed limits on the amount that can be contained in packaged food. Some governments have implemented nationwide bans on partially hydrogenated oils, the main source of industrially produced trans fats. However, the doctors say there is laxity amongst law enforcing bodies here that are meant to protect consumers. Now uh, is the time that we should start looking at uh, the trans fat as uh, an enemy of the people and uh, actually put legislation to make sure that these uh, fats are not on our menu. They also advise people to use the alternatives available on the market. The oils of the seeds are actually quite healthy, like flaxseed oil, simsim oil or sesame oil and hemp oil. Even if all those can be substitutes for trans fats, please they require to be taken in uh, moderate amounts. The World Health Organization recommends that the total trans fat intake should be limited to less than 1% of total energy intake, which translates to less than 2.2 grams per day. Walter Mwesije, NTV. National Medical Stores, NMS, passionate about your life with support from the Ministry of Health. Procure, store and distribute essential medicine and medical supplies to all government health facilities in Uganda.